What's going on everybody? Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm on my way to the store. Look what I just grabbed guys. Yes, $47. 40 items, 158 units at Aldi. The only good thing is that it's going across the street. <laughs> goodness man this is gonna be a crazy order but whatever let's do it yesterday was absolutely terrible guys so let's just do this order and I got my next order lined up it is a favorite shop I don't know how much it's gonna be but he usually tips 20% of the bill so should be a good one, uh, most likely a small one. Hope you guys are having a nice day. Drive safe out there and get that money. Let's go. halfway done look at this it's a lot of cans boom, 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 boom. I only got to get the milk gallons which is like 10 of them alrighty got the milk the yogurt now it's only gonna be frozen and we're done okay guys we're done it took me 32 minutes this technique is definitely a must while I'm doing a batch like this. So now I'm gonna go check out. I'm gonna do a self checkup with the gun. And I'm gonna go like boom, 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 boom. And then load up, drive half a mile, and we're done. Okay, we're done with that one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the shopping for my favorite order. So anyways, <laughs> here at Aldi again. I'm gonna go across the street to Publix to get that one done. It's a Publix shop, by the way. And this is Publix right here, literally. Aldi right there, Publix right there. So it is a $17 order for the same amount of items going 1.5 miles, but it is originally from another location. So I'm gonna have to drive a few more miles from this one because I'm basically here, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and do it here because it makes no sense driving to the other one. Let's get it done. And hopefully we'll get to Costco for the drop. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, that's it. it. Took me six minutes and I got everything. Let's go check out. I'm not making it to Costco for the drop. My ETA to the customer is pretty much 10 o'clock, so no chance there it's okay i haven't been getting anything at costco for the drop let's just do this one and i guess we'll try going to costco after that maybe i'll go to publix i'll think about it So I drove to Costco and I got this order offered for $50, but for 21 miles, 42 items and 46 units, I think it was too much, so I didn't take it.
grabbed a $30 order here at Costco. It's a double going five miles, only 16 items. It's not the best order, but I got it because I was here and I had gotten a $16 order at Walgreens that was a scam. So I had to cancel it. And I was like, whatever, let's get this one, keep the ball rolling. So anyway, let's go deliver it. So the Walgreens order was only three items and it had a perfume. And then as I was on my way to the store, she texted me this. So I was like, bro, that's so sketchy. Just went ahead and canceled that. This order I'm doing right now, it's gonna take under 40 minutes. So it's okay. And right after that, I got these insane orders offered. Look at this one for $25, 69 items, 96 units, and heavy stuff. But how about these no-tip orders, guys? Unbelievable. It is crazy to see $4 and $5 orders now on Instacart. I had been waiting for a while here at Publix for over an hour. I had missed a $40 order and a $25 order. I don't know why, guys. I went outside of the app for a second and I got the notification for that 40 and it was gone. I couldn't even hit accept on it. But I ended up grabbing a 21 double. It's going 4.9 miles, um, like 20 items. So it was a quick shop. Didn't want to keep waiting, man. So let's get it out of the way. Let's go. Okay, got that one done in 37 minutes. And I'm gonna drive home, I'm gonna take my lunch break, and we'll see what we're getting next. Hopefully it's going well for you guys. If you guys are making that money out there, consider subscribing to the channel right now if you haven't done so. Give me a like and comment down below. I'm at $117 for the day, the time is 1.47. It's definitely been slow that over an hour wait I had plus missing those orders really really messed me up but there's nothing I can do just keep taking orders that are kind of acceptable and I'm sure I'll get to a decent number by the end of the day let's keep going what's the point of that wet paint okay what should I do then stay away from it I don't understand it. So I went home and had lunch, waited a little bit there, and ended up getting an $18 order at Harris Theater. Only six items going less than a mile. It's been the only good order I've seen uh, in a while. So went ahead and grabbed it. There's a little bit of traffic right now, as you can see. It's school pickup time, so it's gonna take me a few more minutes to get there, like eight more minutes. It's fine. The store is around four miles away from where I live, so it wasn't a big deal. Let's just do it. It's a slow day. Let's go. they have all the items too. I don't want to have to refund stuff on an $18 order. I don't understand so I deliver that order and I drove to Publix which was like I don't know seven minutes from that drop-off and I sat there for a whole hour pretty much I think I didn't see a single 
order. Didn't want to be there any longer because I hadn't seen anything. I decided to go wait at a Harry's Theater, which I never go there to wait for orders. I feel like I'm not seeing orders at Publix. And so since I had done an order there at Harris Theater, I thought like maybe I could see more orders there. And also maybe because I don't think a lot of people wait there, I could see something, right? So I was already arriving pretty much to Harris Theater and guess what? They sent me my very first order from Publix, from the Publix I had been sitting at. And thankfully it happened to be a good one and thankfully I got it. It's a 46 single going a couple miles, 40 items with a $40 flat tip. So that's a nice order. I'm pulling back up right now. It only took me around four minutes to get back here. I was like a mile away. Okay, we got everything. It took me 20 minutes. Man, definitely a nice badge. I've done their orders before. It's a great tipper, 20% like tipper, flat tipper. Remember I did like an 80 for her a few months ago. So anyways, got everything. Let's go check out. On my way, it's only a seven minute drive. Currently five minutes away. All right guys, I waited a while and I just grabbed a $17 order at Harris Theater going two miles five items only it has a $12 flat tip so that's nice let's go get it right now I'm about to get there and uh, hopefully we can get another one after that one but I don't know we'll see this one will put me close to 200 or right at $200 I think so at least we hit 200. I want to make a little more than 200. So hopefully we can get another one. Let's go. That's it. Three minute shop. Okay, just grabbed another one to end the night. It's uh, pretty much the same as the last one I did. $16 single, two miles, only nine items. Easy shop, pulling back up. Let's do it. All right, that's it. On my way back home, I got these ridiculous orders, guys. Look at these. $22 for 31 miles. $33 for 27 miles. And wait, what? Bro, like if you want this so bad at almost 10 p.m. and you live like 25 miles away from a Walgreens, at least tip more than a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Anyhow, people, these are the final numbers. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Let's go.